follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Click your heels together three times. Who remembers that? Today's investing lesson is inspired by the Wizard of Oz. If you're like me, most of y'all grew up watching that magical movie. I remember they would play it about once a year. And if you remember the characters, we have Dorothy, which was the main character. Then we have the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, the Cowardly Lion, and of course, Oz, that Wizard of Oz. So today, we're going to focus on two of those characters. We're going to focus on the Scarecrow. And the Scarecrow, what did he want? He wanted the brain, right? He wanted a brain. The Scarecrow wanted a brain. And the Cowardly Lion, he wanted some courage. So I'm going to compare and contrast those with investing. This is like many of you out there. You're the scarecrow. Let's back up for just a minute. Let's go with the tin man. Let me start with the tin man, okay? The tin man wanted a heart. I believe a lot of you out there, you have the heart and you want to help a lot of people and you would love to get involved with something that you know would make an impact on this world. But the flip side of that is you don't really have the heart, which means... You don't love yourself enough. You don't have enough um, in, inside your mind, your mindset. You don't think that you can be successful. So you really don't have a strong enough heart. You're afraid, okay? You're afraid. And then we have the scarecrow. The scarecrow thinking about he needs a brain. And a lot of you are overthinking things. Okay, you think you have to know absolutely everything about everything before you put your money in something. So you are just so caught up in wanting to know all the minutia details that it stymies you. And so you never, ever really get started. You want to, you want to do something, but you just don't quite know enough yet to pull the trigger. Does that sound familiar? You just don't know, and so you don't. One of the things that I do, even though you may think, you know, when I'm doing these videos and I'm talking about all the different platforms and all those things that I'm involved in, I know enough to be dangerous, okay? I'm not an expert except for in a few areas. But what I do to minimize my risk is I surround myself with people who are experts in that particular area. So, you know, that elevates me up. And when I have questions, I reach out to those people and I ask them about that. So, folks, you don't have to know everything about everything in order to get started in this magical world of investing. So, that's the scarecrow. The next one is the cowardly lion. The cowardly lion is not courageous. He's scared of everything, scared of his shadow, scared to do anything. You know, you're scared to lose 20 bucks, you're scared to lose 100 bucks. But here's something that I've realized. You're not scared to go down and buy a lottery ticket each week. You're not scared to go over to Tunica or to Biloxi or somewhere like that and throw your hard-earned money away on entertaining yourself and blowing your money and not winning. Not winning. So you're willing to gamble that and throw that away, and you don't even lose sleep at night. So why is it that you're afraid to invest your money? If losing $100 or losing $1,000 will make you lose sleep at night or put your family in jeopardy, then of course, don't do it. But for the most of us, we throw more away at the convenience store, on eating out, pizza delivery. I can think of a million things that we throw our money away on when we could be investing in our family's financial future. So for the last week or so, I have been 
laying out the yellow brick road for you. I have found a platform that really is for those of you who have these issues. You're scared to death. You don't know a lot about investing. And so I have found a platform that makes sense for all of you. And let me give you some information here. There's 131.2 million households in America. There is 3,243 counties in America. There's about 19,502 incorporated areas in America and about 30,000 unincorporated places in America. And I got that off of Google just a few minutes ago. So these, I don't know, you know, what the latest stats are, but they're always behind. So you can bet that the number is higher than this. I'm telling you this because of that new little green debit card that I have been promoting. Y'all, this is your yellow brick road. This is it. I'm laying it out for you. Everybody knows how to swipe a debit card. Everybody uses a debit card. Most people shop online. If they don't, they shop downtown somewhere where they could still use the debit card. And this is helping families all over America to double their purchasing power and also for those interested could give them an extra stream of income. So I am looking for people to help me build this out. I'm looking for you. I've got everything done for you. We know who we need to contact. We want to hit the ground running. And here's a couple of opportunities for those of you who'd like to get started. Again, the easiest, simplest thing is you can get with Becky from PostNet in Paragould, Arkansas. She's going to have handle the referral card orders. You can just hand those out, and I'll split any proceeds that I get with you on that. That's easy, okay? You're not going to make a ton of money, but you're going to make some extra money that way, depending on, you know, how many people that you give those cards to or set them out by cash registers or whatever. The next thing is, obviously, I want everybody that's listening is to buy one of the cards. You need to be a product of the product. The card is only $25 one time. There's no monthly fees. There's no annual fees if you get in before they launch, which is November the 14th. Next, you can become what's called a digital branch office. Now, I've been sharing with you that I've got the paperwork in, and we fully expect this to be a franchise by the time that they open in November. So this is a wonderful, wonderful potential for somebody wanting to get into a real income opportunity. It's $495.00. If you would like to be a digital branch office, which means you would get a piece of the action every time somebody in your organization swaps their debit card. Next, if that's not something that you would uh, like to consider, then you can join our pig group, or you can do all of the above, obviously. But you could join our pig group for $125, and you would get a piece of the action by helping us fund other people who want to become a DBO and own and operate their own business, but they may not have that $495. And what we've agreed to do with our group is uh, there'll be like a 10% interest on that. So if you would like to participate and you may not have the $495, reach out to me and we will see about getting you started because we don't want money to be anything that's going to hold anybody back, but I really feel like this little green card is a no-brainer. I mean, seriously. I think that everybody can understand the concept. They know that how we're getting paid, so there's not anything really that anybody can't understand. You know that every time right now that you swipe a debit card or a credit card, the banks and Visa and MasterCard are getting paid. And so what they've agreed to do, these little community banks, is they've agreed to split their piece of the pie with all of us in exchange for us doing what I'm doing, coming out here and introducing this little green card in communities all across America. So think about your hometown. You could be the first one. You could be the digital branch office in your hometown that would be able to offer this little green card. 
you can do it one time and then be done with it or you can continue whatever you know it's it's totally up to you you can work this full time you can work this part time and we're just trying to get all of our people lined up before launch day i want to be able to deploy everybody and on that day everybody will have their marching orders and know exactly what they want to do and what was even more exciting in case you missed my video the other day is it was announced that you can download the app the transact card app on your phone so any of you that are watching out there that have bought the little green card if you pre-ordered that card go ahead right now and download that app and then you'll you'll look inside there and it'll tell you the bank account is not set up yet which that is correct and you'll you'll s scroll on down and you'll see the opportunity that you can load some cash on there and there's over 500 different um, gift card options like Walmart, Home Goods, Ulta, Grubhub, Texas Roadhouse, all of those are on there. And so what I did was the other night, as soon as that launched, I went on there and put some money and bought a Walmart one and a Lowe's one because I knew I would be shopping there. And all you do when you go through the checkout is you just scan the little barcode and it takes your money off of your gift card. It's an electronic gift card. And you get double the rewards right now. So you can go ahead and earn points for that store that we're going to open up right now. So I already have a ton of points just from grocery shopping alone. How much money do y'all spend on grocery shopping right now? We spend about $30 a day on average. So you're talking for three people here, we're talking $900 a month. So I'm going to be getting $1,800 worth of rewards just on my groceries alone. Add in the electric bill a little bit later, you know, the house payment and any other things that I want to buy. And Amazon is on there. If y'all are expecting to do some shopping for the holidays or for gifts or anything like that, I really want to encourage you, use those gift cards because you're going to get points. And then for those of you who are considering becoming a DBO, a digital branch office, one of the coolest features on there that I saw was when you send a little gift card, you can, you know, attach a note or whatever when you're sending it, but you can send it to somebody else and at the top, It'll say this gift card's, you know, from, let's say, Nancy Gaskins to learn more about the Transact debit card, and you click here. So it's a great way to introduce this program to family and friends and loved ones every time you send a gift. So I thought that was pretty cool. So again, in closing, I just want to share with you, you know, this was inspired by the Wizard of Oz today. Follow the yellow brick road. You don't have to make this difficult. I know me, I, sometimes I love complicated things. And I want to get in there and I want to understand it. And, and that drives some people crazy and it scares some people off. But this platform, there's nothing like that. This is very easy for anybody to understand. And it's very easy for you to participate. You know, it's as simple as, have you heard about this little green card that everybody is talking about? boom there you are you're going through the checkout line hey did you know that instead of swapping your card if you swap this little green card you could get dollar for dollar rewards did you know that hand them your card or we can send out emails you can you know get introduced to people inside your community that have large groups of people like hr directors people who have employment agencies People who work at companies, you could come in and give a little uh, speech. It could be an employee benefit. I mean, there is a million different ways that we can get the word out about this little green card. So anyways, hope y'all are enjoying your Saturday. It's a beautiful day here. I think we may go out to the fair and uh, take mom today. Not sure exactly what we're going to do yet. But I hope y'all have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. And I really hope that you'll consider, number one, buying that little green card before uh, time runs out, which is October the 31st, because you'll get two for one in rewards for one year if you go ahead and pre-order now. But if not, if you wait till after the fact, you're going to get one-to-one -one rewards. And if you've not gone to my YouTube channel, that's Passive Income Generators. That's where I'm dropping all of these videos. You can catch any of them that you might have missed. And please help me get the word out by sharing my videos and my posts. 
and today the post will be on the investing lesson on the Wizard of Oz with those little stories that will really break down each of the characters and tell you a little bit more about how investing can be compared to that magical movie, The Wizard of Oz.